What's up guys, today this video will be about my template that I recently just posted, as you can see, posted it recently, and um, it's a Guerrilla Tag mod mini template, if you didn't already know. As you can see up here, it has 8 categories, like menu categories, pre-made mods, pre-made settings, a bunch of other stuff, um, here are the pre-made mods. Pre-made settings, pre-made mods on the GUI, which we'll get to in just a minute. It has a lot of customization as well, as you can see just from the screenshot. Let's just jump right into it. First, if you want to get my template, join the Discord server. Once you join the Discord server, go to Malachi Temp Download, and if you um, <clears throat> if you code in Visual Studio, download the Malachi Temp. If you code in DNSpy, which Nobody does that anymore, but still, if you code in DNSpy or any other program that <clears throat> doesn't use a Visual Studio CS project, just download the DLL and <clears throat> edit it from there. What you want to do, download the dot, the dot .zip, wait for it to download all the way. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and go to your folder, uh, go ahead and hit extract all, and wait for it to extract. Once it's extracted, you will see this folder, just double click it. Then you will see this, read the read this now. Hello, thanks for choosing Malachi Temp. This template has everything you need to become a Gorilla Tag Mod Mini Maker. It has some pre-made mods and settings, eight different categories, a GUI with six different categories and more. If you haven't already, please join the Discord, Discord's right there, and sub to me on, on YT, my YouTube right here. And then if you have any questions, please join the server and ping me, you know, Malachi. Now, once you are here, you can go ahead and look at the code, right? This is this is just extra code that you might need. See like all the stuff that you might need. But if you want to start editing it, double click this Malachi temp.cs project. Just double click that. Wait for Visual Studio to open. Once Visual Studio is open and fully loaded, you should see a completely gray screen. Go ahead and go to the Malachi temp. Go into UI drop in wrist menu go back out go into back end drop in mods go out one more time go into this and drop in gui then i like to just have them pinned right here so i like to have it as wrist menu mods gui and that's it go to wrist menu as you can see here's all of the settings here's all of the categories Here's are the, here are the pre-made mods that come like with the template, and then here's all the categories. So this is where the customization really begins. However, I do say, um, I'm going to say this, I recommend keeping all of this stuff the exact same, because say if you change the first color or whatever, then you're not going to get like, like you're not going to get a perfect scheme when you use the theme changers. So just keep all of this the same and you can use the theme changers to, you know, change like <clears throat> the text and menu color and whatever. Here are the, you know, category buttons, text. So if you change like this, say like, say if I want to change the category one to, let's just say like, let's just name it rig mods, right? If I name category one rig mods, it will name this right here, rig mods. It will also name the tooltip go to rig mods. Then right here also exit rig mods. Just like that. Easy as can be. Then here is the menu name. You can just change it to whatever you want. Next, right here, these are all just like positioning and scales. Like I said, like it says right here, do not mess with any of these scales or positions unless you know what you are doing. Because if you mess up one thing, the whole menu is going to be messed up. Trust me. <laughs> here are the controller buttons. So instead of just finding like a button, like um, a controller button on your controllers to activate a mod, all you would have to do is just do wrist menu dot and then like what you want. So say if I want to do it as right grip, I would do grip down right like that. Boom. And then just like this, ignore everything. All of this is just menu stuff, you know. You don't really gotta worry about that. Next, we got mods. Just all of the pre-made mods, you know. Next, we go to GUI. And 
and you know it's just the GUI like like I like I said in wrist menu for the actual menu right here you can change the name for the different categories so say if I just change it to like high or whatever now this button says high well that category says high then if you go if you scroll on down you'll start to see the different stuff right here these are all just the placeholders for the uh, buttons here's all the button texts now I'm going to show you how to make buttons for the menu and for the GUI so first up if you want to make a button for the menu what you want to do is you want to make your code so say um, for instance even though the menu has a disconnect on the side of it or top or whatever you want to have it at I'm just gonna make a quick disconnect so say if I do public static void let's just name it disconnect right I'll do this and then once I have that I will add my code just like that now once I press this it will disconnect me from the lobby now go into here and just copy copy any code um, and what you want to do is press enter and just you can also paste it in any category you want you can move all of these buttons to any category you please then I'm going to rename this to disconnect right because that's what the mod is it would disconnect me from the lobby then I would rename this part to the method name just like that then rename the tooltip to disconnects you from the lobby boom now I just made a disconnect button just like that next I will be showing you how to make a button for the GUI so first just scroll down to any category you want I'm gonna say this one category one right here so let's just say I want to make a head spin mod which is already pretty easy because head spin is already on the menu all I would need to do is just add the button so first since head spin is a toggle mod we don't want to do it like this we want to do it like this so I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm going to create a new bool. Do not do public static bool. Just copy and paste one of these. Then, whoops. Then I'm just going to name it like head spin. Just like that, right? Then I'm going to scroll back up to where we were. And I'm going to do this dot head spin equals exclamation this dot head spin. Just like that. Then 190 is right there. So, 190, placeholder, remove the placeholder, and do head spin v1. Just like that. Now, like I said, since it's toggable, we're going to go ahead and copy one of these codes, paste it, change this name to head spin, or your bool name. Then you want to change the second number right here to the second number of your button and text. So 190 is right here, so I will change this to 190. Then I will change this method name right here to headspin. Now, since headspin has a on method and a disable method on the menu, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code right here and I'm going to paste it just like that. Then you don't have to paste this one with all of the green stuff. You can copy and paste this one right here, but yeah, I'm going to change the name to headspin. Then I will go over to wrist menu and I will see what the off is, which is fix one. So I'm going to do fix one. Perfect. Now, if I toggle that button on the GUI, my head will start spinning. If I untoggle it, my head will go back to normal. Now, once you're done editing all of your code, you know, making your menu look nice, adding all of your mods and whatever, and you want to get the DLL, 
what you want to do is hit file, save all, build, and build solution. Then wait for this to say build one succeeded, build completed. Once that has happened, go back to this area, double click bin, and double click debug. Then press date modified, and you'll see Malachi temp right here. Make sure it has the exact time. See, 851, 851. Now I'm gonna drag this into my plugins. Let me just remove my menu. Also, if you have WalkSim and you use the GUI, the GUI font is gonna be like funky, fon funky. It's gonna be funky and it's gonna be kinda messed up, but yeah. Now, let's look at what it looks like. I'm gonna launch Gorilla Tag, and you see Malachi Temp, GUI, Malachi Temp, right there. Once the game's load up, also you do need the GUI fixer to get the GUI to work. Um, like always, the GUI fixer is in my server. Um, just go to my server and go to Malachi's menu download, scroll up a little bit and you'll see this right here. Just click this, follow those instructions. Here is the GUI, you know, you got basic mods. And then right here is the uh, settings, you know, all these placeholders and everything. WASD, it's very trash though. Like, <laughs> it's pretty trash. Um, so yeah, sorry about it. Um, but yeah, the mods do work as well. So like, look, Ghost Monkey. Now I'm in Ghost Monkey. Invis Monkey, I'm now invisible. And yeah, that's the temp right there. Um, it's really easy. It's basically self-explanatory. I don't even like know why I'm making this video. It's so self-explanatory, so easy to make and everything. If you have any questions about anything, just go ahead and ping me in my server, Malachi, the owner. And I will answer any questions that you have. Like I said, keep these all the same. You can always just mess around with the theme changes and whatever. Basically about it. Also, favorites don't work too. So, sorry about that. But, yeah. That was the video on how to use my template. That was the video on how to use my menu template. Um, also... If y'all are saying like it looks like Sheba's or whatever, yes, the menu template is Sheba's. It technically is Sheba's, but it is heavily recoded by me. Like a lot of stuff is fixed, a lot of stuff has been added. Like just a lot of stuff has been like fixed, added, and whatever. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this template. Um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I go live or make new videos. Peace!